I wanna be a billionaire so freaking bad Buy all of the things I never had Hey guys, welcome to the Prussians and Bass Medalist on the Nazcat channel. I am Nazcat and I got my scale in the mail. Huh. I'm a poet and I just didn't know it. <laughs> well, anyway, I got a scale because I am weighing my 1982 copper pennies and I'm sorting them out with the zinc pennies. Now, you know, there's people on YouTube that can distinguish the sounds um, of a copper penny and a zinc penny when they just drop it onto a table. For me, I don't hear it. <laughs> you know, so I said I'm going to buy this scale. And this cost me about maybe 7 bucks on Amazon. And I like it because it's portable because I can take this to um, my coin dealers and I can check the weights. Just to make sure I'm really getting what I'm getting. All right, so, you know, that's just um, my little thing. But, you know, it's nice, handy dandy, you know, and I've been looking to uh, get a scale. Uh, so I'm just... Nice and easy. I just plop it down. That's a zinc. You know, and I'm, I'm one of those type of guys that, you know, I want to see numbers. And you can tell me this, you can tell me that, but, you know, weights don't lie. So that's why I got the scale, and I'm just weighing my copper pennies versus the zinc pennies. And these are the 1982s. All right. Now, you're probably wondering, why? <laughs> why are you going through all this? You know what? I'm I'm on a movement. I want to remove all of the 1982 copper pennies out there. All right? Because some people, they just stop at 81. And they don't want to deal with weighing the copper pennies. Uh, the 1982s. They just, every time they see 82, I'll oh, forget it. I'm going to put it back into circulation. I'm trying to remove them out of circulation. So, all of you uh, copper penny hoarders... Uh, this is a this is a battle cry. <laughs> uh, let's get those eighty two copper pennies out of circulation. All right. So I want you also to see that if I am going to sell some stuff on eBay, that I am weighing my eighty twos. And some people list their copper pennies. Um, they'll say like eighty two and before. And the thing is, is that 82s are, are iffy, all right? But I want you to see that if I'm going to if I'm gonna sell my copper pennies on eBay, that you guys are seeing that I am weighing them, all right? Because I don't want to cheat people, all right? I want to, uh, I want to be as fair as possible. So if you guys do happen to see me sell stuff on eBay and you guys would like to buy stuff from me, you know that I'm weighing my stuff. Right? So, I mean, I want to put out a product that is very uh, dependable, I guess, and, and very uh, very truthful in, in that aspect, okay? But, you know, I was sitting there thinking, and um, I, was, I was just debating maybe I should sell all of my gold and silver and copper and nickel and trade it in for this. That's right, Zimbabwe dollars I mean, what do you guys think selling all my silver for these i mean these are gorgeous look at them man no i'm just kidding <laughs> you know what though there is a guy on ebay and you guys if you happen to look up currencies especially zimbabwe currency you'll see this guy i can't remember his name it's something like it had to do with it has some moon in the in, in the, the name of it but you know i gotta give props to him in terms of his passion about these things. And he has a bunch of bricks of of $1 trillion notes um, and all these other denom denominations of these Zimbabwe notes. And yeah, he's saying, you know, this is going to be the next uh, reserve currency once the dollar goes to zero. Now, the reason why I have this is because I'm going to frame them. I'm going to put them up in some kind of... Um, picture frame and, and put in my office uh, just to show that number one I am a trillionaire <laughs> and number two it just reminds me of um, uh, this is just history this is a piece of history uh, and uh, the history is, is that Zimbabwe did hyperinflate to their currency to the point where they have 100 trillion dollars banknotes all right and this is kind of a cool 
uh, piece. It's conversation piece. I might buy another set just to put in my other office. But, you know, I think I overpaid for these. I mean, these are not really worth... Uh, they shouldn't be worth a lot. But, you know, the, the thing that drives them is the demand um, from the collectors. Uh, the people, they, they want to have them just to have it, you know. So that's what's driving the prices for these. Okay, so... But yeah, it's a joke. I am not going to sell my gold, silver, copper, nickels uh, for this, right? It's just a, a nice conversation piece. Okay, so this is, I got this in the mail. I got I got my Zimbabwe dollars in the mail just to show you guys that, um, man, you know, I was, I was so stoked that, that I was a trillionaire. But I'm going to go ahead and plow through these uh, copper pennies finish that up and I'll have a more accurate count of how much copper I have and I can finally finish my uh, coin album and I just needed to sort out the 82 coppers and the 82 uh, zincs and then I also have to look at the large date small date so I have to do all that stuff but you know once that's done you know I'm gonna sit back and say that and just enjoy the, the coin album so I wanted to share that with you guys and uh, thank you so much for watching Precious and Base Minutes, thank you for all your support. Uh, thank you so much for your comments. You know, it has made me grow as an investor, as a collector, and as a survivalist. So, guys, thank you so much. And um, I will put out uh, more videos in 2012. And, you know, I'm not going to put so much of just uh, stuff for beginning. I might put some, like, uh, coin collecting 101 type of things, but... I want us to go deeper. I want to get a little more juicier, get a little bit more controversial. All right? So, <laughs> uh, so 2012 is going to be really good in Impressions and Base Medalists. All right, guys. So, thanks so much for watching again. And uh, in the comment section below, tell me if you have any of these Zimbabwe notes. All right? Just out of curiosity, how many of you guys have these? And how many guys want them? I mean, there are, there are a bunch of them in eBay. Uh, and I, for me, my advice to you guys is if you're going to buy these, I would have to, see, I would have to uh, calculate how much I get per note because these have no value. So you want to see if you're going to be paying, are you paying $4 per note or are you going to pay $2 per note? That would be the only way I can tell you guys if you wanted to buy these on eBay or buy them on Amazon, calculate how much you would uh, be paying. Or how much you would want to pay per bank note. You know, again, the the trillion dollars, billion dollars, that doesn't matter. Because these things are pretty much not really worth anything. And like I said, it's the collectors that are driving the price up. So let me know in the comment section below. Do you have any of these? Do you want them? You know, and um, also too, how do you sort out your 1982 pennies? How do you sort the copper and the zinc? Let me know. Um, put your responses in the comment section below, guys. And again, thank you so much for watching the Precious and Base Medalists on the Nazicat channel. I am Nazicat, and you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Oh, every time I close my eyes, what you see, what you see, bro? I see my